Okay, good morning from Passar Tani Floating, floating market. market. Yeah. Very exciting place. Here we are for breakfast. Yes. So we're in search of some delicious food mm -hmm. on this floating market. The whole dock is floating. Most of the vendors are in boats. That's so cool. Some on the floating dock and some on land. And there's tons of people here. So it's quite many. popular. It's a really happening, interesting, brightly colored place. Right. I'm excited. Let's go find some breakfast. Yeah, let's go. Lots of action here. The cold breeze off the river is actually really refreshing and the smells in the air is just so tantalizing, making me hungry. This is a really happening yeah, place to be. Oh, river oysters. I think those are actually caught right here in this very river. Very fresh, very local. All right, guys, we just had breakfast. I was actually hoping for something light and kind of, I wasn't very hungry, yeah. but I ended up seeing some beautiful looking nasi karabu. And so I went for it. Really, really good. And I got long tongue. Long tongue. What is that, Ivana? It's like, um, like, like a tupat almost. Similar. Oh, compressed with like rice. Some soup. Very mm -hmm. nice. And then we saw something called gassing. Gassing, which is like top spinning. It almost looks like to me the original Beyblade, <laughs> ancient Beyblade. That's so it's true. a competition of whose top can spin the longest. You see him wind up with a rope, throw the top, it spins. They pick it up on something that looks like a spatula. Right. Uh, I had fun. I, I had it in my hands and I was doing a little twirl there. Dun, da, 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 da. And then they put it in a stand and they see whose top can spin the longest. So this is like an ancient pastime in Kelantan. That's Interesting true. hobby. The original Beyblade, I would call it. Wow, and then there's some, um, I think they're going to put on a show soon, like a traditional singing kind of thing. Right. So I think it's called Dikir Barat. So there's lots to see here. Very cultural place. Very interesting kind of... Mm -hmm. Definitely worth seeing. Every Saturday they have this floating market. Definitely yeah. worth seeing. All right. Let's go see the show. I'll tell you what, as far as traditional music goes, this is really, really nice. We've had experience before where the traditional music just doesn't hold up or translate over hundreds of years, but I tell you what, this is nice stuff. I'm jamming to this, Ivana. All right. And next up, the river boat cruise. Let's go. Okay, so we jumped off the boat after like three or four minutes and uh, we're on something called Nipa Farm. There's some amazing painters over here. I feel lucky to watch those guys work. And we're gonna head down this pathway over here and check out Nipa Farm. Yeah, so this is Nipa guys, the green plants that looks like palm trees. Oh, is that right? That's growing on the water. Ah, okay. Let's go. Walking in a jungle wonderland. It's like the Amazon. Oh! <laughs> Do you hear it? The bugs? Wee, wee, wee. Oh, getting louder. Yeah. All right, here we are, guys, on this beautiful pathway through the uh, Nipa forest here. Nipa has three useful parts. One is the sap, which makes nira. The other one is a flower, which makes caribou nipa. And the third one is the fruit, which is edible. So we're going to try all three, I think, here. Interesting little pathway cool spot here. There you have it. Ask and you shall receive. They brought us some fresh go. near. It's cold in my hand. Yeah. Cheers. Interesting. Cheers. Mm. This is wow, it's so sweet. pretty good. Yeah. It's sweet and it's kind of like vinegar, no? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Kind of sour like that? Acidic maybe better than a, better than sour, but pretty good. It's the like first time we had Nero, we were like so sour. Turned off big time. <laughs> but uh, this is quite nice. Sweet. This one is like a mix of coconut water and apple cider finger. Whoa, good right. description. Yeah. Did you think of that just now? Mm -hmm. That was a really good description, Ivana. Apple cider vinegar and coconut water. Yeah. Nailed it, nailed it. Good job, Ivana. But all, every Nira that we tried, they all taste different somehow. <laughs> yeah, this one is whoa, still pretty strong, but yeah. it's nice that it's cold and it's a hot day. It's kind of refreshing, yeah. but it's um, still pretty strong. So they said this can turn into alcohol if you leave it long enough. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. There you have it. We even saw one fella here slicing up a, I think that's a caribou nipa. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just showing us how they kind of uh, farm it. Interesting. Plus this pathway is just so beautiful, walking through this little aquatic jungle. Very nice. Bua nipa, the fruit of the nipa plant. Okay, there Looks you have like it. a rambutan or something. Oh, oh like this. Yeah. Okay, scoop. Watch like this. this. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect for the thumb. Looks like a jellyfish. Uh -huh. Jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> coconut. coconut. It tastes like young coconut. Ah, young. Mm -hmm. 
Oh! oh no. <laughs> Did you see that? Right in, right in the crack! Right in the crack! I have to, uh, to to save the scene. Yeah, save the scene. Come on, Ken. Vlog fail. Oh yeah. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. He might say, tastes like fish. No. <laughs> pretty, taste, pretty tasteless. Mm. Yeah. A little bit like coconut, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Mm. But other than that, the, the structure is really like glibbery. Glibbery? Glibbery? Okay. Sure, I like that word. <laughs> it's what not an English word? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. it is now. <laughs> glibbery. Strange structure, right? Strange. Why does it taste like? It's, I mean, it's super glibbery. Okay, this one? It really is, Joanna. <laughs> it's like mushy, kind of coconutty. Yeah, like jelly. Um, no, the texture is jelly. Oh. With the, oh, it's almost like rambutan or lychee. Yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Uh, the flavor itself is nothing to write home about. It's decent. Edible. Yeah. Interesting. On a floating dock, <laughs> eating this stuff. Come on, what could be better? Hey, they even gave us some vinegar. They know I like vinegar so much. Stay tuned for what Nira vinegar is like on french fries. Could be good. Could be a new recipe. And now we're gonna jump on the boat just in time to see the kite making demonstration. All right guys, kite making. Traditional thing here in Malaysia. This kite right here mm -hmm. is just for decoration. It's not for flying. And it is the national kite of Malaysia. It's called Wau Bulan kite. So this is a traditional activity. Mm -hmm. Like hundreds of years, people have been flying these kites. There are some that are for flying here. This guy's hand making them. Really intricate work, kind of skilled labor. That's and uh, the ones in the back there, the big ones, they're actually for flying and they're also insanely beautiful. That's so you can true. imagine flying this kite in the sky. It's like all intricate, almost like batik. Is it considered Ooh. batik? I don't think so, but there are pat the patterns are similar to batik. The patterns are similar, yeah. quite beautiful, uh, quite amazing to watch the guy work. Mm -hmm. He's got bamboo sticks and he makes a frame out of it. They're kind of flexible but still strong. Mm -hmm. Kind of an incredible thing. Then he so, makes the paper pattern and then put it all together and makes this beautiful kite. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Fun to watch him work. Right. There you have it, guys. Just look how empty the market is, guys. Mm -hmm. It's only 1 p.m. now, so it really is a morning, morning market. market. So on that note, we're going to get out of here. We've got three more stops today, and then one stop tonight makes four. First, we will see the Twin Dragon Temple. Ooh. Very interesting. Then we will go check out the Fisherman's Village, mm -hmm. which I'm very excited for. And then we will see a very fancy looking mosque. Mm -hmm. And then later on tonight, we will be going to the Shadow Puppet Show. Ooh, that is Kulit. so highly recommended yes. from you guys. Mm -hmm. So another jam-packed day with the tourism department. Yes. So let's go to our next spot. Let's go. All right, one of 20 wow. Thai Buddhist temples in Kelantan. First thing you notice is the amazing twin dragon mm -hmm. gate. And then of course the gigantic Buddha. Look at this, wow. Huge Buddha you see behind us. And also this something is called the wishing tree, mm -hmm. which I'm sure we'll get more info on later. Okay, let's explore. Wow, look at the size of the Buddha. It's gotta be. 35 meters tall. <laughs> so definitely not the first time we've been to a Buddhist temple. We spent a lot of time in Vietnam. What do I know about Buddhist statues? Definitely the long earlobes is a staple. Definitely the golden dot in the middle of the forehead. Also in his hands you see a lotus flower. These are staples in the Buddhist temples. If I was really smart, I would tell you what this statue represents based on the placement of his hands. And actually, a beautiful temple all around, as all Buddhist temples are. You've got tons of gorgeous looking buildings with golden roofs. Of course, lots of dragons everywhere you look, very intricate designs, uh, as well as the Dharma drum. Of course, you got a fat Buddha. Now, I'd like to learn more about this wishing tree. Let's see if our guide can tell us how we can make a wish on the wishing tree. Let's go find out. All right, so the idea is this tree is holy and if you throw one of these dangling things you see you throw it and it catches on the tree it will help make your wish come true our guide isn't exactly sure all the ins and outs of why it's believed to be holy but you can see those things dangling all over he's asked someone if they can try and find some for us so we can make a wish but if not it's still an amazing tree i mean it's super gigantic and the shade alone is like enough to worship it but uh it's really beautiful with all these brightly colored things hanging from it there you have it, the wishing tree. Oh, darn, no wishes today. Unfortunately, the office is closed. 
Yeah. No problem. Still a temple worth checking out. Yeah, it's cool to see the big statue of the Buddha, white, white and bright. White and bright. That's yeah. a good one, Ivana. Right. There you have it, guys. Okay, next stop, Fisherman's Village. Oh yeah. Let's go. Shami Amba. Oh no, oh no, look. We are at the fisherman village now. We're just checking out the daily life of the fishermen in Kelantan. So we just saw a bunch of squid being caught by the fishermen. And then right away, they sell those squid in this market. Very fresh products, fresh catch of the day. Awesome. So you can also see the fishermen behind me waiting for someone from the market to pick up their catch of the day so they can sell their goods. Interesting. Quite an interesting place. Mm -hmm. Guys, we tried to fly the drone. Unfortunately, the airport is like three or four kilometers from here. Yeah. So just use your imagination to imagine the drone over the water with the fishermen <laughs> and the boats and all that stuff. Because right. it's not going to happen. Right. Pretty cool, cool place to hang out though. Quite nice yeah. to see all the locals and in interact with them. Right. Cool place to hang out. Right, right. And all the dish in Kelantan, almost all the dishes in Kelantan have fish in it. So. Good point. These guys are high priority. Mm -hmm. Pretty big industry. There you have it. Okay, <laughs> next stop, a beautiful mosque. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, guys, yeah. Aramon Mosque. I'm going to cover my legs with a sarong. Yvonne's going to cover her hair. We're going to go explore this mosque. Mm -hmm. Interesting that this mosque doesn't have the typical dome roof structure. The way the roof is, it almost looks like a temple. One of the buildings we were at earlier today. Like a Buddhist temple. Interesting. Okay, guys, Ivana's got her hair covered and I've got my uh, legs covered in a sarong. Let's go see what we can see in here. Wow, look at this. One of the first things I see is this drum, which I'm learning was used to call for prayers in the olden days. And it actually resembles the Buddhist Dharma drum, which we just saw at the temple earlier today. Well, how? All right, guys, I'm not as smart as I thought I was. I thought because we're so close to the Thai border, maybe this was a mosque with some Thai Buddhist influence, the Dharma drum, the shape. No, what's true is the dome shape that I'm thinking of is actually Middle Eastern. It's not a Malay style. This whole architecture, the whole building, the whole design was done by Malay and Indonesians. So this is the Malaysian design. What I was thinking was Malaysian was actually Middle Eastern. So I'm learning a lot today. Very interesting. Wow, look at this place. It's so vast and amazing. Again, it kind of reminds me of a Buddhist temple. It's just coincidence. It has nothing to do with Buddhism. This is the Malay design mosque. Very interesting. So this writing here is in fact Arabic and not Jawi. And this little barrier you see here is actually to block the women's section from the men's section for prayer. So in this bigger section would be where the men pray. And then in the smaller section over there, woman would pray there. It's a pretty spectacular place. High ceilings, this very interesting blue circle in the ceiling in the center and the big fans everywhere. It's quite cool in here. It's quite, uh, it's quite spectacular really. Some really intricate and beautiful stuff in here. And this blue door over here is actually imported from Morocco. So the front door is a style of Yemen. The blue door is a style of Morocco. Lots of different influence happening in here. Really spectacular place. And what's really interesting is these doors around the whole building are open 24-7. So anytime, day or night, my understanding is the doors are always open for people to come visit. And from floating market to fisherman's village to the mosque, the river seems to be the theme of the day. It's actually on all three sides. It goes right around this mosque. So it's uh, just beautiful. The property on the outside, just beautiful. There you have it, guys. What a great day we had today. We did a lot and we learned a lot and I got sunburned on my head again. <laughs> Smooth move, buddy. That's so we got good. one more stop today. It is a puppet show. I think it's a shadow puppet show, to yeah. be honest. It's called Wayang Kuli. All right, guys, we just visited a beautiful mosque and we still have the puppet show to go to tonight. But before that, let's try some perut soup, cow stomach soup and then we will probably rest in our hotel before we head to the puppet show later on tonight. So, let's go. All right, guys, just arrived in the puppet show theater as well as the facilities here. Really amazing facilities, mm -hmm. big and well lit, deep, deep, deep in the Kampung. Right. I just uh, grated a coconut or attempted to, so check this out. Wow, good job, Steve. Almost done, not really. I thought I could do it with brute force, but there's a technique that I don't have, obviously. <laughs> okay, so that was a bit of a fail, but next up, the rice grinder. Maybe I can redeem myself. 
So if we put lots more, a bunch of this mush would come out, and then I guess you use it for flour. I guess you drain the water and use it for flour. Mm. Interesting. There you have it. Pretty slick design. Ancient tools here. Cool. So if I was a lot uh, faster and had more time, I would grind up the rice and make this flour. Uh, okay. Okay. And mix it with some of the grated yeah. coconut yeah. and this pandan water. Okay. Make kui. Pandan water. Pandan. Uh, pandan leaf. Right. Yeah. Drink? No. <laughs> Can. It almost feels like uh, what's that kid's toy? Play-Doh? Pandan. I think it's ready. Good. Good. <laughs> I like how I say I think it's ready and I have no idea. After <laughs> this, this one. Okay, I'll show you. Sure. Uh, uh, like this. This. Okay. Oh. Ah, and wrap, wrap. Ah, okay. Uh, if, if this one uh, very thick, uh, not nice. It. Oh, too big. Ah, uh, too big. Try again. <laughs> I thought bigger the better, you know? Very North American. North American Very thing. North American approach. This is better. What did you put? I put an S on it with a knife. Maybe it'll stay there. Like a brand, you know? It's worth a try. Okay, next step. These guys go in boiling water. You can see the one here with the S on it. Hoping the S survives. Okay. We'll see if I created a new uh, Onde Onde style. Although, some of mine are too big. This is wrong. Anyway, we'll see what happens. And then when they float, that'll be the signal of uh, ready to yum yum. Okay, drain the water. Put here. Boop. And roll. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's soft. Oh, yeah. Onde, onde. And I think the uh, gula inside is melted. There you have it. Onde, onde by uh, Chef Matsale. Come on. What could be better than that? I think I might burn my mouth, but can't wait. Ivana, I nailed it. Wow. Ivana, I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's pretty simple, but. I can't try it. Well, my mine one is on the plate. Mm. Like, have, have, have. Can you still eat it, although it's hot? Mm. Ready, 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 ready. All right, uh, Steve made kui. Do you trust me? I see not this. <laughs> Who made this? Look, Masale. Look, messy. No, oh, it's good. <laughs> wow. Good job. So messy. Well done. So messy. Right, oh, right. the local <laughs> says that's too messy. So messy. It's the flavor, not the presentation. Mm. Mm. Good. Good. Wow. I can. That's nice. I can taste the um, co brown coconut sugar. Wow. Mm. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, it's good. Right. Okay. Time to eat because okay. I've had Let's four go. desserts before I had food yet. <laughs> All right. Great dinner. Most of the food from the farm on the property. So really fantastic. With the travel grammars. Subscribe to their channel. Lots of good Malaysian stuff. And now you can hear the music. We're just on our way to go see the live music, live singing puppet show. Very excited for this. Let's do it. Wow, that was an amazing performance of the Wayang Kulit, which is the puppet show. Very interesting that yeah. one guy is doing both voices uh -huh. and both puppets. Right, we didn't understand a thing, even me as an Indonesian, I didn't understand a thing, but it was cool to see. The music right. and everything, it was exciting. They're talking really fast in Malay, but you can see kind of what's happening with the puppets with the body language. Yeah. You know, they might go low and look up if they're afraid or something, right. or shake if they're scared or something. That's true. But for the most part, no idea what's happening, just admiring the artwork and the music and yeah. stuff. People are playing like music in the background, and then you can just see like a shadow of the puppet if you're watching it from the front. A bunch of times, everybody in the audience broke out in laughter. Yeah, so it must be a funny show. <laughs> I laughed along. I didn't know why. I was like, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. This place is actually a huge property that's like a eco friendly mm -hmm. tourist spot. So they've got their own honey and their own yeah. goats and their own vegetables. And it's really a that's massive right. property. We're thinking of spending a couple of days here mm -hmm. in the future. It looks pretty cool, to be honest. We're at Min House Camp. Boom, That's there you have it. Called. So we had an amazing day today. Special mm -hmm. thanks to the tourism board. 
Um, yeah. Favorite really part great. was still probably the floating market. It was really floating great market. in the morning. Wow, that was, was great. It was really see. interesting seeing everybody. Good, good and cheap food there too. Good and cheap food. And we bump into the travel grammars. We bump wow. into the travel grammars who are actually staying here for a couple of days. Yeah. So they're recommending it to mm -hmm. us, saying this place is really great. Yeah. And there you then, know, guys. Uh, oh yeah, the moss. It was our, our first time inside the moss. So that was exciting. That was really exciting see. actually. That it was, was cool. really, really great. Mm -hmm. It was cool to see. Really great day. Another mm -hmm. great day arranged by the tour and travel board. Very tired. It was a long day. <laughs> we did a lot. We saw a lot and I'm ready for bed. All right. All right. So we'll see you guys for another adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.